worship you this evening. We worship you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. Hallelujah. Because great are you. Yes, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we have won. Amen. Amen. shall continue and com uh, continue with the service while we sing the first opening hymn, Redemption Hymn number 780 is on page is on page 8 of the program on our hands. Page 8. Forever with the Lord Amen, so let it be. Life from the dead is in that word till immortality. Here in the body present, here in the body paint, absent from him I roam, yet nightly pitch my moving tent a day's march near home.
humbly request that we take our seats. I want to welcome every one of us here present today, starting from our fathers in the Lord. When the time comes, we shall introduce them. You will know them by their names. But starting from them to the least amongst us, in the look of human, I want to welcome you all to this program. And I pray that Almighty God will bless us today, even as we depart from here in the name of Jesus. My name is Timothy Awe, an elder in the body of Christ, and I've been, I've been appointed to be the moderator of this program. The next item is purpose of gathering, and I will read from the book of the Revelation of John, chapter 20. Revelation chapter 20. And I will read verses 12 and 13. Revelation chapter 20, verses 12 and 13. Our Father, we read from 11. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. And there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. Chapter verse 13. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and, the, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. Praise the Lord. This is the purpose of our gathering today. Needless to start parabolating beating about the bush. Give glory to God for a life well spent, though very young, but at the right time, at the sight of the Lord, it has pleased him, the creator of heaven and earth, to call unto himself a brother, son, to some of us, to some of us, uncle to some of us, brother to some of us, husband to the wife, and father to his children and many children around. Brother Gabriel Adekunle Ujobaro. He laid his sword at the feet of his master on the 13th day of this month, which was last last day, Sunday. And he is with the Lord. We all know him around Houston. He's gifted man of God an organist and keyboardist. And he has the willingness to work for God. And that is why we are gathered tonight to pay him last respect to conduct this service of songs slash week keeping in his honor. That is why we are here. Brethren, fathers in the Lord, sisters, young and old, please I can understand our position now. I can understand what we can feel. We are in it together. But we should believe one thing. The word of God that was read here is not my word. It's not your word. It's not the word of the president of this country. It's not the, president of, it's not the word of the president of Nigeria. Neither is it the word of the prime minister of the United Kingdom. But the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Therefore, brethren, a day is coming when we shall hold this service in honor of all of us at different times, but we don't know when exactly it will be. Could be in the morning, could be at night, could be in the noonday. Are you prepared to meet with your Lord? 
Are you walking uprightly with him? What will be said about you when you must have gone? Brethren, I encourage every one of us tonight to walk together in faith to bid him farewell without any emotional um, without any emotional feelings, I can understand that, or break down. But then let us believe in the Lord that he is with his master. Death, both young and old, are there before the throne of the Lord, the throne of judgment. The Lord will bless us. The Lord will heal us. The Lord will comfort us. He will be with us in the name of Jesus. To those who are watching, who are watching via Zoom, please encourage yourself. We are encouraging one another tonight. Let us get ourselves together to bid him farewell. And as we proceed in this service, the Lord will go with us and be with us and bless us abundantly in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Now we shall go to item number four of this program, which is the first scripture reading to be taken by one of the family members that has been chosen. I think it's okay. Okay, Korede Kujubaro uh, is the first child of Brother Gabriel. I read First Thessalonians, First Thessalonians, four, thirteen to eighteen. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. Fourteen, for if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which asleep in Jesus will God bring with him. 15. For this we say unto you by word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the unchangel, and with the trump trump of God and the cleave in Christ shall rise first. 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. 18. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. Praise the Lord. We move into item number five, which is him. Appendix number 159. It's on page. Page nine of the program in our hands. We speak of the realms of the blessed, of that country so bright and so fair, and oft are his glories confessed, but what must it be to be there?
Item number six, which is the second scripture, shall be taken by the sister of the deceased, my dear sister Teresa Picado. Revelations, chapter 22, verses 1 through 5. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the tomb, in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light, 
and they shall reign forever and ever. Praise the Lord. item on the program, which is short exhortation. And that is the word of God. The person that has been chosen to lead us into this is our father in the Lord, Pastor Taiwo Mogaji. Uh, we pray that Almighty God will bless us through his ministration tonight and will be with us and the Lord will be with every one of us in Jesus' name. So please join me while I welcome him to the podium and give us the word of exhortation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We can do better. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to thank God for the privilege of being in your presence. Uh, to dispense the word of God, especially in a time like this. My first uh, greatest go to the bereaved. All I know is that we are not sorrowful here. We are celebrating the life that has performed duty, though it might look nonsensical to us, but to God, it was meaningful. So um, I pray that God in his infinite mercy will grant our brother, the loving brother, the gifted one, Gabriel Ujibara, eternal rest in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we pray? O Lord our God, great and omnipotent judge of the living and of the dead, we assemble in your presence tonight to return to you all the glory and adoration. Our hearts are bound with rapturous joy because our souls are your immortal bread. Give us the grace to see and agree that no man has the key of life in his hands. Give us the grace to know and accept that Jehovah alone is the God of all flesh. Give us the grace to know that you are God and that you have prepared a place for us with yourself. And finally, O oh God, give us the grace to discover our frailty and mortality that we may always live according to your commandments. As it is written that the entrance to your words gives light, we ask, O oh God, that you will lead your word, you will deliver your word, all to the glory of your name and to the shame of Satan. Amen. For in Jesus' precious mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to humbly recognize the presence of uh, my fathers in the Lord and the mothers in the Lord and contemporaries and everybody. I, I, I think I'm the least worthy to, to do this, but by the grace of God, I am representing them. And I humbly say, God bless you, sirs, in Jesus' name. People of God, My deep sympathy for the family of a late Gabriel Ojivaro. But then I bring the word of life to you. The word of God says in Isaiah 20, it says, The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. And what the spirit of the Lord has anointed us to do is to discharge 
the good news. So, however we see it, God sees as a good news. Praise the Lord. And without wasting your time, my word of exhortation today is titled, The Joy of Death. The Joy of Death. The Joy of Death. Actually, this will look crazy. What joy can we find in, in death? But according to Psalms 116, verse 15, Psalm 116, verse 15, the Bible says, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. As human, death is nothing to be promoted. But to God, when it happens to his saint, it is precious. How come these two incompatible worlds come together? The word of God says precious. Precious is something that is interesting, something rosy, something desirable. It is in the sight of God. So when a saint goes home or to God comes home, what does it mean? It's precious. The reception to God is precious. But the departure to us, it's painful and sorrowful. We cannot but do that because of our limited, of our limited perception of the things of God. Because of our limited perception of the spiritual realm. No matter how much we feel in the physical, we have to think more of the spiritual. Precious is it in the sight of God when a saint comes home. I have a good illustration here. A man in the scripture by the name Ezekiah. He did the will of God. He did everything right. And uh, all it will be paid for the good deeds that he has done was for God to send a prophet, prophet Isaiah, to him. That is a care. Gather yourselves together. The Bible says, "Gather yourselves, gather your, gather your house together." What God is saying. Prepare your home. Put everything right. Because you will soon die. Honestly, humanly, we will look at this. What sense is in it for someone who has done the will of God only to die? We all knew the impact of Gabriel Ojubayo in Ojubaro in the community. He did selfless service, or if I say services, he doesn't care, he will just be there, even with the limited ability that he has. He did all he could. We're not here to praise him, but we cannot but talk of the good things he has done. So sometimes we look at this, why must a guy like Ojibaro just die like that? Why must the righteous depart when there are many and billions and thousands of wicked who are living and enjoying this world? Well, Ezekiah was asked to die. But the next step he took was to negotiate 
It's death with God. And when Ezekiah negotiated his death with God, God knew he had done nothing wrong. That, okay, if that's what you want, I will grant you more years. God granted Ezekiah more 15 years. Most of us, what we are identified with in the scripture is the area of the 15 years. That's where we pray, Lord, Ezekiah prayed and God gave him more 15 years. It was, if it were possible, we would have prayed, Lord, give this guy more 60 years, more 100 years. Yes, we, we would have done that. But the answer lies not with us, but with the one who created the Jubaro. Praise ye the Lord. Unfortunately for Ezekiah, the additional 15 years that God granted him were the years of regret and sorrow. Were years that he would never have bargained for. This was the year that God wanted him to avert. Ezekiah, I don't want you to see the evil that will behold Judah. But Ezekiah negotiated his way out. And God added days for him. The days or years that will lead to a regret or eternal regret, the Lord, will not, the Lord will not add it to a years in Jesus' name. Ezekiah had these years as if the evil that came upon Judah was not enough. There was a mark, indelible mark within the span of those regrettable years. That was, those were the years, between those span of the years, were the years when Ezekiah gave birth to the worst king that ever existed. Manasseh. He wouldn't have asked for those years if he knew it would lead to regret. What am I saying? People of God, sometimes we will shed tears. Sometimes we will cry. Sometimes it doesn't look interesting to us, but I want us to know one thing, that we are living in a borrowed home. We are living in a borrowed house. In 1846, former President John Quincy Adams suffered a stroke. Although he returned to Congress the following year, his health was clearly failing. Daniel Webster described his last meeting with Adams Someone, a friend of his, came in and made particular inquiry of his heart. Adams answered, I inhabit a weak, frail, decayed tenement, battered by the winds and broken in upon by the storms. And from all I can learn, the landlord does not intend to repair. As tenants that are living in a home or a house that are borrowed, that was borrowed. The entire world is a borrowed home. Our community is a borrowed home. Each church is a borrowed home. Each family is a borrowed house. Each relationship is a borrowed house. What are we saying? God granted us this house to live in. Our body is the temple of the Lord. It's a borrowed body. That is why when someone dies, the first thing that happens is the spirit goes to the owner and we take care of the body because he has taken what was precious to him away from the body. Listen to me. There will always come a time when we would desire to live further. When we would desire to live as if not to die. But let me tell you this. Most of such times, the landlord may refuse to repair. When you have addicts and it is healed, it's because the landlord is still repairing. Oh, he had stroke. 
and he survived it. It's because what? The landlord is still repairing. It depends on him, not about us. Praise the Lord. Amen. William Shakespeare sees this world as a stage where each actor will come to play his or her part. Gabriel Adekulio Jabara has come as an actor. He has acted his own part. The rest lies with God up there. Chespia says, each actor will play his or her part and eventually leave the stage for another. What does this mean? Praise the Lord. When Ojobaro was here, he would play on this keyboard. But today, someone else is taking over. Such is life. The games of life is a lot like a football. This is according to Lewis Grizzard. He said, you have to tackle your problems, block your fears, and score your points when you get the opportunity. Each and every one of us that is sitting here, this is a wake-up call. It doesn't matter how long we live, but how well. How well. What joy is it that is in death? If God says, if the word of God says, precious is it in the sight of the Lord when his saints die. What is this supposed to mean? It means when we die, Unlike the world, death of a saint is an act of deep deliberation on the part of God. That good and sometimes great ends are to be accomplished by it. And that therefore, God regards this with special interest. How? It is a value. It is important. It is significant in the eyes or in the sight of God for three reasons. One, it is the remover of another of the redeemed to glory. That is an exit of a redeemed. When we remove one from here, it is added to those up there. So it takes, it gives God joy. That all oh, plus one, plus one. So when a saint is exit, exit from here, it's a joy to those up there because God is happy that finally you made it home. Oh, finally I have you. The devil has not whisked you off. That's number one. What is the second joy that we have or deduce from death? The second joy is that it is a new triumph of the work of redemption. It's a triumph of the work of redemption. How? He chose the power and the value of their work. When they depart and we are rejoicing that they didn't miss it, they go home, then we, are, we, can, we can be delightful and we can be proud of the efficacy of their legacy that they left behind. That's number two. And number three is this. It is a direct proof of the reality of religion. When we are playing religion, when we are talking about religion, it's easier said than done. But when it happens in the practical, that's when we begin to see, oh God, the, so it's real. That is not something that will happen. And you go, uh, somebody will say, go up there and come back. No. It's never like that. It is direct proof of reality of religion than any abstract argument could do. Praise ye the Lord. I say praise ye the Lord. I say praise ye the Lord. Amen. So people of God, in life as in football, you won't go far unless you know where the goalposts are. As Christians, as children of the living God, 
All we need to know is to secure the goalpost so that we don't miss our own goals. There are times that are allotted for us. Let me just uh, close with this. I remember like yesterday in 1987, uh, Central Choir, CAC Central Choir at Akure, and uh, we went for rehearsal. And one of the fathers in the Lord came and told us that choir, please don't go immediately after the rehearsal. Uh, our father, maybe a GS or one of those, uh, wanted to see us. I said, yes. And this man came. That was when, I think uh, daddy will, will, be, will understand what I'm talking about. That, that's when this Baba came to us. And when he came, then he said, this, the, that's Baba Ayonubo, the one who went to heaven and returned. He died for seven days before he resuscitated. So praise the Lord. So this man now was addressing us. The children, please, let me tell you what I saw when I went to heaven. Say, I died and I thought it was all. Said, I got to heaven and I saw, I saw, him, uh, I, I saw an angel take him in around. And all of a sudden said, I should come and behold the glory of heaven. So when he took him into a garden, the garden of heaven, when he got to that garden, there was a big gate there, large gate. And he said, he opened the gate and took him in. When he got in, he started seeing buildings building structures. When he was seeing the structures, then he said, oh, who has this? He said, can you not see the name? Okay, oh, Reverend, so, 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 so. Oh, wow, beautiful house. Oh, Bishop, so, 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 so. Oh, beautiful house. Apostle, so, 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 so. Hey, millionaire this, a millionaire that. Choir member this. He said, everyone has a building there. And he said, okay. Angel, can you show me my own building? You know what prompted that? He said most of the buildings that were, give, were, that were revealed to him, he said most of them, the re ceiling has been removed by wind and storm. Ah, he said, what? But our father, this, this was a father that we are using his name to pray on earth. But his house is destroyed in heaven. He said, what? What is this supposed to mean? He said, okay, let me see my own house. He saw his own house, and by the time he saw the house, he discovered that just half of the roof almost removed. So, what? He said, that's what you did all things right. But at the tail end of your life, you started backsliding, and you are changing, you are keeping malice. You are, you, are you are taking, uh, thinking of, you're taking details in things that never mattered. Say, so, oh, okay. so how, how is this going to be reconstructed? Say, so, once dead, ever dead. So, you don't mean this is what is in it? Yeah. So, but God said, I will send you back to the world so that you will tell people there, be, be my mouth organ, mouthpiece there, and speak to people, tell them what you saw, that they still have the chance, you and I, we still have the chance to restructure. We still have the chance to repair everything that is wrong. We still can do it. Ojabaro cannot do it again. That's, the, that's what is exit is ministering to us. Praise the Lord. But what was the end of the man that the angel was taking around? He said, when they finished the inspection, listen to this place. Then the angel took him out. He said, come on. I said, no, 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 no. I don't want to come out of here. It's so interesting. No, it's not your time. God says you are going back to the wall to go and tell them what you have seen. And as he was going out, he said, as they were leaving, getting, taking, getting out of that precious uh, uh, company. He said, now he saw, he just 
behold, there are some people, there are some men, old men, lying down at the gate, and they were crying and sobbing in tears. And he has, angel of the Lord, what happened to these ones that are crying and <laughs> weeping? He said, the point is, don't mind them. That, he said, but listen, so I, I cannot but mind them because these people, I know this number one. And people of God ask me, who was that number one? Can you ask me? Can you ask me? Who? Apostle Ayo Babalola, the founder of Christ Apostolic Church. And he said, no, our father, Ayo Babalola, crying here, shedding tears, or the angel told him, Ayo Babalola has no problem entering into the kingdom of God. That what he's doing there was that he was praying for all the men that, most of the men that worked with him. He met them in heaven. Those of, most of them met him in heaven. And he said, no, 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 no. These people, they suffered with me. They, they, we, we suffered too much. And the please, can you say? then the angel said, he knew the writing. So let him cry till tomorrow. Only him will go in. Most of them are not going. So, but what's going to happen to them? He said, well, the angel said, I have nothing to say. But what did they do? He said, they walked well. They did everything well. But at the tail end of their life, they destroyed the ministry. And they died. They could not go back to repair what they have destroyed. They kept malice. They were fighting for positions. They were, they were throwing, uh, you know, all these evil things we cannot expect from people of God. We are not mocking them, but we have to look into what happened to them and learn lessons. Praise the Lord. What is the joy that is in death? The joy in death is that when we see him, we will be like him. The scripture says, we will behold his face and he will hug us, we will hug him. Ojibara is not dead. It's there, like many of them that did the will of God. I am not God, I'm not judging. But what I know, by their fruits, ye shall know them. Praise the Lord. So please, it's not enough for us to just sober. To just, but let's learn the lesson that the exit of this man is a wake up call for us. Is there anything wrong with our lives? Are we keeping anything, anybody in our hearts? Are we keeping malice? Are we angry with somebody? You have no idea what happens the next second. Please, let's do what is necessary so that we will not miss the kingdom of God. Praise ye the Lord. That's the word of God. Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Before I leave, I just want to sing this one. Just one. Huh? Okay, you want to have him sing? Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, where's the... Sir, can you... Hallelujah. Choir, can you help me? Mommy? Praise the Lord. As a praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Heaven is my home. We are, I will live forever. You will say, Zion, Zion, Zion. Heaven is my home. We are, I will live forevermore. Zion, Zion, Zion. God bless you. One goes up and the other comes up. Zion, 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 Zion. 
Heaven is our home. We are we will be forever. Zion, Zion, Zion. Oh, heaven is our home. We are we will be forever more. back to you. Be exalted forever. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That is wonderful. That is so powerful. That is encouraging. And we pray that Almighty God will lead each and every one of us home successfully in the name of Jesus. Yes. This point, we will request our Father in the Lord, Pastor Oye Alonge, to please pray over the word of God we've just heard. While we coming up with sounding amen. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord God, we thank you for this sermon. Thank you for the preacher. We pray the Bible says that water shall be watered. We pray that you water him in return in Jesus' name. Amen. You bless him so richly that he will continue to bless us. Amen. Father, Lord, I pray for every one of us today who is heartbroken by this departure, that you will give us the strength to bear this loss in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you for the family that bro Jobaro has left, has left. We thank you for his life, so wonderfully spent, that we all benefited from him. Thank you for the love that he so graciously shared. Thank you for the service that he rendered to humanity and to you right here. We thank you for his life. We have no regrets about his life because it was a life wonderfully spent. Be thou glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll pray for the family that you give them the strength to bear these laws in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray that you support the family. You will be with them in Jesus' name. Amen. And for all of us, O oh Lord, we pray that you give us the grace to take this as a teachable moment and to align ourselves with you. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We go to item number... It's on the program, which is team number 164. Shall we gather at the river? It's on page 10 of the program on our hands. Shall we gather at the river where bright angels' feet have trod? With this crystal tide forever, flowing by the throne of God.
Before we take the prayer for the family, I will quickly, as permitted, be granted by our father, read through the biography of our brother, Gabriel Adekule Ezebaro. Thereafter, this, the families will come forward, especially the wife and the children, 
and those that are related, siblings that are here for prayer, family prayers that will be taken and led by our father, Pastor uh, Apostle Samuel K. Koshiro. The biography is on page five of the program in our hands. And quickly before I go through that, if you are, have cause to leave before the end of the service or if we're preparing for the uh, offering, please write your check to the Ojobaros, in the name of Ojobaro. The money, whatever money we collect here today is not for this church, it's for the, it's for the family. So, and the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Page five of this program. Biography, early life. Gabriel Adekunle Jobar was born on June 27th, 1975, to the family of Ojobaro. He started his education from primary, after which he proceeded to Sarudin High School in Surulere, area of Lagos, between 1986 and 1992. Education. Despite his physical challenge and financial constraint, made sure he became a learned person. He had a bachelor degree of, in business administration from University of Ilori in Nigeria in year 2000, and a bachelor of science degree in mechanical engineering from Texas A&M Pre-Review in year 2017. Marriage. He got married to his airdrop, Gbagbo Yemi, Hanna Ujubaro, in December 14th, 2002. And the marriage is blessed with a boy and three girls. Career. Was a devoted Christian who had used his gift for the work of God. He was well known in the music industry. He was majored in keyboard and had played for a good number of churches throughout Texas and its environment. Was a generous man who always go to any length in helping everyone that comes his way. We had that in the word of the sermon from our father. He was also a businessman. He deals with auto sales. Calling home. He was called home by his creator on Sunday, 13th of September, year of the Lord 2020, after a brief illness. He is survived by his wife and four children, and regrettably to mention, even by parents. But we pray that Lord would comfort everyone concerned, especially the parents and heal the wound that this his exit must have created in their hearts in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. At this point, I will request our dear sister, Ibaboyemi Hannah Ojobaro, and the children and family to come forward while our father, Apostle Keshiro, will lead the pastors here to pray for this family as we join them in the prayers. Praise the Lord. Please, I uh, would like to invite all the ministers of God to come forward here, please. Please, all the ministers of God, please let us move forward here. Let us all come over here. We can distance ourselves a little bit, or we rally around them. I see that our father, Adekunle Ujubaro, situation in a different form. As we were, I was sitting down there, the 
God ministered to me to say it in a different form. Maybe other may not say it the same way, but God tell me to see it in a different form. That the man has a second chance, and that second chance was fruitful. When the incident happens to him when he was young, he will have gone. He won't be here to talk about all these four children. He, God gave him that opportunity. We have to praise that Lord. Romans 8, verse 18. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed unto us. The suffering of this present time, it cannot be compared. The death is a necessary hand, and it will definitely come when it will come. I want us to pray for this family. I want us to pray for them. Because they need our prayer at this time. Prayer is what we can use to support them. That God will console them. God will put his own heart of acceptance to their heart. If you don't accept it, you will be arguing with God. No. But God should give them the art of acceptance to be able to praise God that Father, I thank you for this, our brother. Let us pray for them that God will be with them. Art of acceptance, God should give it to you. We pray for this family, Father, come and uphold them. You are a faithful God. In Jesus' name we pray. Jemu Romo, Jesu mi, e mi kio fi osile uti uki ji na le to. Ala woko wa la woko onoruni awo leko onoruni ini yoko ye. We have to put them in the hands of God. Training your call, Lord, on you, we have to hand them over to God. That God should come and be with them. Where they think they are looking for their father or their husband, God should be there for them. An area, any area around them, God should come and fill that old. Prayer, please. In Jesus' name we pray. Psalm 116 verse 7 say, Return unto the rest, O my soul, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with thee. He has returned back to his spiritual. Because God has done bountifully for him. We have something to reference him. If we have died young, we, do, we won't have anything to reference him. He, we have something to reference or more we have something to reference we have to give thanks to God for, for giving us something to reference to him that whenever we look back we can now talk about him and reference to him 
to finally close the prayer, let us give thanks to God for that. In Jesus' name we pray. When we ask our Father to Almighty God, internal rock of ages, the ancient of days. Daddy, we are here celebrating you, praising you because you are a good God. We are thanking you because you have not changed. What a privilege to know you, Jehovah God. What a privilege to serve a great king. Jehovah, we cannot thank you enough. We are here praising you and thanking you for what you have done for your son. We realize only you, God. Only you, God. Only you, God. Take all the glory in the name of Jesus. Lord. Jehovah God, we bring your daughter before you and the entire family. We are asking for your grace that you will uphold them with your righteous right hand. Father, do so in the name of Jesus. When you are the one leading the journey, the journey of life, that the Lord God, we, are comfy, we have confidence in you that no evil shall be for them. For you brought a whole nation from Egypt and taking them to the promised land. You were before them, Jehovah God, you protected them. Because you are a great God. Jehovah God, as your journey, as your children will be going on this journey of life, we ask that you go before them in the name of Jesus. Let every valley be exalted in the name of Jesus. Let the mountains and the hill be brought low in the name of Jesus. Let your glory radiate in their life in the name of Jesus. Jehovah God, I pray. Where fear may come and say, what do I do? Your word is still the same. Fear not, I am with thee. Daddy, we pray that you minister to them in the name of Jesus. We cancel on timely death in your midst in the name of Jesus. Daddy, I pray that you lay your hands upon these children, that they will be great children that will influence their generation and bring them back to you in the name of Jesus. Sir. Daddy, we pray for the wife that we please your Lordship, Jehovah God, to console and to be there for her at any time in the name of Jesus. And we pray for the parents, Jehovah God. This is a spiritual womb, but all this is within your capacity. You are able to heal the womb, Jehovah God, and set them free. Father, do so in the name of Jesus. Masaka ya modoku da baba da da kala ya kaugada pa koromosondo. Rende ke luka kaya ugada pa koromosondo. Your word declare, say to the righteous, it shall be well with him. I decree this evening, it is well with this family. In the name of Jesus, it is well with this family. In the name of Jesus, it is well with this church. In the name of Jesus, it is where Jehovah God, where your son has ministered in the city of Hus and all these environs, all those churches. We declare this evening, it is where. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Jehovah God. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Another fellowship in heaven, I know there is another fellowship. Do you know there is another fellowship in heaven? I know there is another fellowship. Praise the Lord. Thank you for your time and your 
time, the pains we have taken to attend this service. We pray that Almighty God will bless us abundantly return in the name of Jesus. It is time to sow seed into the family. Uh, we can see, we all know our dear brother Gabriel Ojibaro when he was here. And whatever we must have done for him while he was there is acceptable. But more importantly, for the family he left behind, we see these children, they are very, they don't know nothing yet. They are kids. So the responsibility has, has become that of God, who is a great provider. And we, the men of God and brethren in the body of Christ, to assist as much as possible. It's a continuous process. It's not even today alone. We are not begging for them, but it is our uh, duty as member of the body of Christ to help, to, to, to donate, to assist, to do whatever we can to see that these children fulfill destiny with the help and power of the Almighty God who brought them to this world. And I pray, in no time to come, when we all will sit back and see these children fulfilling destiny, becoming great, we will give glory to the name of the Lord. And the Lord will do so in the name of Jesus. He will protect them, he will guide, he will guide them, he will lead them, and especially the wife. And the, 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 the power and the ability to take care of these children, the Lord will give to her in the name of Jesus. So please, brethren, whatever we do today is, is the beginning of the process. It's the beginning. It's an unending until we see them grow, until we see them becoming huge, until we see them becoming big, fulfilling, being in high places. Before we say, okay, uh, we can now leave them alone. And God is going to help us and bless us in the name of Jesus. And more important, let us pray for them. We pray for them in our closet and everywhere. So whatever money we give to them today, whether check, please write your check in the name of Ojobaro. Uh, Hannah Ojobaro, all Ojobaro family, just write Ojobaro there. Everything is going to give, I mean, to, to go to the family and the Lord will bless us in the name of Jesus. As the choir will be giving us uh, beautiful and danceable, oh, to the glory of God, songs, we shall be bringing whatever God has laid in our hearts to uh, give to this family and that will bless us in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay, it's a life well spent and uh, let's just honor God. Um, just give him glory because it's, it's God, right? So I invite us to just stand up as we just come into his presence and shame the devil. Know that God has won the battle. Amen. I will sing unto the Lord a joyful song. I praise his name for the Lord is good. I will sing unto the Lord a joyful song. I will praise his name for the Lord is good. I will sing unto the Lord a joyful song. Oh, God, the mighty man of us, the Lord. 
imagination in the name of Jesus. Everyone that has done this, Lord, we pray you replenish and bless abundantly. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Lord, we ask that I will lay your hands on this gift and multiply and dedicate and sanctify it for the use of this family that will bring multiple blessings to them in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Please, ushers, straight to her right now. Please. Okay. Put the nylon and give to her. We want to thank the Lord. We are on item number 10. And we want to thank you for your patience and endurance this far. And we pray Almighty God will bless us in the name of Jesus. Before we take the announcement, we want to greet our fathers in the Lord who have taken pains to be here, despite all we must have considered. But this is one of the works and responsibilities and assignments of the ministers of God. And I praise their courage, I salute their courage, and I bless the name of the Lord for them that they are here this evening. And the Lord will bless them abundantly in the name of Jesus. They will not witness such a thing here again in the name of Jesus. Number one, I want to ask to all the officiating ministers, starting from our father, on the page, all of the programs, uh, their father in the Lord, Pastor Dr. David Babatunde Osho, JP, our uh, father, Pastor Henry Odeneye, the seventh man here at Dagunduro and Avest Point Ministries. Our father, Pastor Dr. Shaw, is of International Way of Life Ministries, and that is where our brother Jibaro, you know, played keyboard for them for several years. Our father, Apostle Samuel Toye Keshiro, our father, Pastor Taiwo Mogaji, our father, Pastor Tunde Oladu Joye, our father, Pastor Dapo O Balogun, our father, Pastor Oye Alonge. And I see a couple of other ministers here. Our father, Pastor Adioshu. And I see our mommy, Pastor Mrs. Adioshu. I see our mother, uh, um, from the children and seraphim, um, prophetess. Okay, Raman. Praise the Lord. And other ministers, I see our sister prophetess right there from children and seraphim. I see Pastor Talabi, praise the Lord. 
I see our father, Pastor Talabi. I see our mother in Israel, Mommy uh, Akiton. I see our sister, Evangelist Okpeadewumi, Evangelist, Evangelist uh, Kola Wale. Our mommy, like I've mentioned, Mommy Ade Oshu. She's in the house, witness Ade Oshu. And we thank all of every member, I mean, all of that ministers that are here that I don't even know your name. And we pray that Almighty God will bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. Yes. To welcome you, it is an heavenly language. We all shout one hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. God bless you. I see our father, Elder uh, Emmanuel, Elder Denikweku, Elder Omega, and everyone that are here present. And my humble self. And I want to thank God for every one of us that are here, the ushers, brethren from places of work, family members. I see our sister Teresa. I see everyone here. And we pray that Almighty God will bless us and grant us long life in the name of Jesus Christ. The main leader of this uh, church is here. Person of brother Adewumi is here too. Bless you, our brother. And God be with you in Jesus' name. We want to thank all various organs of this church, the men, movement, women, youth, choir, media, security, ushers, uh, council of ministers, and all of us for taking pain to put together this program and being here today. We pray that Almighty God will bless you and replenish you abundantly in the name of Jesus Christ. Our announcement is so short. By the grace of God, tomorrow we shall be progressing in this service around 12 noon, actually by 11 a.m. We will view the body of our dear brother at the funeral home. The address is Advantage Funeral Home, 7010 Chetwood, Houston, Texas, 77081. 7010 Chetwood, Houston, Texas, 77081. And the place will be opened exactly by 11 o'clock. Between 11 and 12 noon, we have the opportunity to view the remains of our brother. By 12, God's willing, we'll commence the funeral service right there, and which will end within an hour, and we shall proceed to the grave site, grave site to commit our brother to the mother earth. And the address is at Forest Park Westheimer Cemetery, 12800 Westheimer Road, Houston, Texas, 77077. Forest Park, West Timer Cemetery, 12800 West Timer Road, Houston, Texas, 77077. And this will be uh, at 3 p.m. So as soon as we leave the funeral home, we proceed to the uh, cemetery. And you, the remains of him shall be committed to Mother Earth at 3 p.m. We enjoyed us to please let us be there for the family and to perform the role God has placed in our hands to bid them farewell and to let the children feel belongs and the wife and even the family. And we pray Almighty God will bless us abundantly in the name of Jesus. Should there be any other announcement? shall be told before the grace. I will call on family representative who is to do the vote of thanks. Yes. Yes, okay, why is this coming up here? This program is three in one. Thank you for reminding me. It's three in one. Those of us who have received this copy today, please take it along with you tomorrow. Don't leave it at home. We have limited copies. The rest will be distributed to those who will join us tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, I think the funeral home 
accommodates about 60. So the rest will be distributed to them. And those of us who are here tonight, bring yours tomorrow. We're going to use the same thing. Tomorrow's program is there from beginning to the end. And the Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen. So it is my understanding that in our Nigerian culture, the parents don't come. But I'm actually, I'm the eldest sister, but I'm not actually the eldest representative of the Ojobaro family. Is it okay if Koya comes too? Koya Ojobaro is actually the next eldest in our family. He's my, my dad's brother in the United States. So um, my brother was the first grandson of my grandfather, the Ojobaro side, and the first son. So, you know, he was, I'm not used to this, I don't know. But I do want to thank you on behalf of the Ojibaro family. It means a lot to us that to know somebody, so many people loved him so much. So that means he did so much good and he touched people's hearts, which is an honor to our family as well. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you very much. But I can, um, Koya, you want to say anything? My dad is very, 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 very thankful. So thank you. Good evening, everyone. I want to say thank you to every one of you for being here. I'm still pinching myself to find out if it's real. So I'm just going to summon courage and just say thank you all for loving him and for being here. Thank you, everybody. Praise the Lord. Uh, the service is coming to an end, and I have the honor to invite our father, Pastor Dr. Henry Odene JP, to pronounce the benediction. Hallelujah. As far as God is concerned, this world is not about duration. If it were about duration, Methuselah should be celebrated every day. He lived for a thousand years. It's about donation. This man came into this world and he impacted. He left this world better than he met it. The seeds are there to show you. I want us to say the grace, but I want us to read from Job chapter 14, verse 5. When I was preparing an announcement, it sounded that word of God just prompted me. There he made it very clear. He said, seeing. Is somebody reading it for me? I don't have my glasses here. Mm. The days of every one of us, including my brother Gabriel, are determined. The number of his months are with God, not with the father, not with the pastor, with God, yes? God has appointed a bound, a mark that he cannot pass. So we submit to the sovereignty of God. Sovereign God, it's all about you. He, the day he placed the mark there, nobody knew. But when it was time, Gabriel knew and he stopped. There's something I want to remind you of. True conception, you and Jacob had four children, uh, Gabriel had four children. But I want to remind you that between two of you, you conceived CDs that he told me about. 
So I want you to challenge yourself to give back to those CDs. We will celebrate these children indeed. But there are uh, what we call brain child. There are some brain children you and him have conceived. He told me that. I don't know whether it's going to be four CDs, it's going to be five CDs, but they will come. Bring forth those CDs. Let us honor him with those CDs. Let us pray. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest in the with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us shout three hallelujah to bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Amen. Thank you. God bless you.